Our car tester Jan Becher says, crossovers are all the rage right now, so VW has introduced an all-track version of its Caddy model. But is the off-road look just for show, or is it really an all-terrain vehicle? The Caddy all-track is the successor to VW's Caddy Cross lifestyle model. All-track buyers can choose from the range of four gasoline or seven diesel engines offered for the regular Caddy. A natural gas variant is available too. Unfortunately, VW's four-motion permanent all-wheel drive system is only available as an optional extra with the two most powerful diesel engines with an output of 90 or 100 kilowatts respectively. We're testing the smaller all-wheel drive version. VW says average fuel consumption is 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers driven. Our test vehicle sells for just over 31,500 euros in Germany. Designed to be a lifestyle vehicle, the Caddy Alltrack looks the part with its three elegant chrome trim strips in the radiator grille. The black plastic trim on the wheel arches and rocker panels underscore the off-road look. Practical sliding doors on both sides of the vehicle make for easy entry. But what Jan really likes are the rear seats. They can be folded down or moved out of the way entirely, which is probably the more practical solution. Behind its large tailgate, the Caddy Alltrack boasts over 3,000 liters of cargo space. As well as the passenger version, the Alltrack comes as a panel van with optional rear wing doors. The Spartan interior is pepped up with carbon fiber and chrome trim, and there are plenty of storage compartments in the dash, the transmission tunnel, and the door panels, as well as a large shelf under the roof. But now it's time to take the Caddy Alltrack off-road to see what it's really made of. Jan says the Caddy Alltrack doesn't have much trouble handling moderately rough terrain thanks to its all-wheel drive and off-road ABS. And then there's the hill start assist, which means he only has to give gas and steer. The hill start assist means the Caddy Alltrack can make it up extremely steep inclines from a standing start without losing traction. But a hill descent control, like Skoda offers for its Yeti Outdoor, isn't available for the all-track, not even as an optional extra. So drivers have to make skillful use of the clutch and brakes to get the Caddy all-track downhill safely. Jan finds the steering quite smooth and direct, but he notes that the suspension is rock hard, as the vehicle is designed to carry up to 709 kilos of cargo. Although the Caddy Alltrack is essentially a packed mule on wheels, its combination of independent wheel suspension at the front and rigid rear axle works surprisingly well. Here the VW passes our axle articulation test with flying colors. Jan says the Caddy Alltrack combines plenty of cargo and storage space with off-road capacity, so it's a good all-rounder that's also a true sport utility vehicle. <laughs>